Hey and welcome to SMS Alert. We hope you have already installed and configured SMS Alert app in your Shopify store. Today we'll cover how to configure SMS templates for customer and admin notifications. So for this, you need to first click on apps in your Shopify store backend and then click on SMS Alert. Then after click on customer templates, here you can enable or disable SMS on various events by clicking on the checkbox against each event. So the first event is new customer sign up. Simply type the message that you want to be sent to the user. You can also customize the text with variables by just clicking on these tokens that are available just above the text area. Similarly, you can configure the message to be sent when an order is placed, fulfilled, partially fulfilled, cancelled or refunded. For order status, if you want to insert some variable that is not listed in the token, you can click on more and use our variable explorer option. Here you can enter any customer name, order ID, anything related to the order and this will suggest all matching orders against it. Select the most relevant order and then you will see all possible variables here. You can mouse over this variable to view the actual value for that variable against this order. So simply click on the desired variable and this will insert it to your message text. Similarly, you can configure admin messages from the admin templates tab. For admin messages to work, you need to ensure you have an admin mobile number configured or added in the general settings tab. Here you can notify admin when a customer signs up on the website and various order status updates same like we did it for the customer. You can also notify admin when a product goes out of stock. For this, you can configure the message text from here. You can also set custom threshold limit for each product and admin will be notified when the inventory of that particular product goes below it. This message has to be configured from here and threshold limit needs to be set for each product, for this you need to edit your product for which you want to customize this limit. Click on view all against the meta fields and edit the low stock threshold value. We hope this video was helpful to you. See you soon with more such informative videos in future. Thank you.